My god, Sergeant Gibson! Do what? I shot Sergeant Gibson! I pulled a gun on him because he f***ing advancing on me! That's the voice of Virginia Police Officer Michael Rusk. In January 2023, he called 911 after shooting his boss, Sergeant Christopher Gibson. Is he breathing? He just fell out! The James City County officers had been drinking off-duty at a Williamsburg, Virginia bar. I drove in a f***ing on his right arm! Okay, I need you to take a deep breath for me, okay? Is he breathing? Is he breathing? I'm going to save his life! Sergeant Gibson was shot in his stomach and shoulder, but survived. Officer Rusk was jailed and faces a trial and charges of malicious wounding, use of a firearm and commission of a felony, and discharging a firearm within city limits. But lawyers for Rusk say he acted in self-defense. They say Rusk had been sexually harassed by Sergeant Gibson for over a year and reported that to the police department. And surveillance video from the bar, first obtained by local Virginia reporters, is intriguing. The video shows the off-duty cops at that table. Officer Gibson then moves around to sit next to Rusk. Gibson reaches for Rusk's hand under the table, which seems to cause Rusk to recoil. Outside the bar, surveillance video shows the men leaving. Then, Gibson puts his hand on Rusk's shoulder. You see Rusk push him back in the chest and then point a finger at the sergeant before walking back. Nearly an hour passed before the shooting, and while it's not clear what happened during that time period, Rusk made this claim to 911. I told him to stop me, I'm going to Mm. Legal experts say the surveillance video and 911 call make a compelling argument for self-defense. Plus, if the James City Police Department in fact received complaints from Officer Michael Rusk about Sergeant Christopher Gibson, that could show Gibson engaged in a pattern of predatory behavior. Rusk's family goes even further. They say they were told by Rusk repeatedly throughout the year that Sergeant Gibson often gave him unwanted attention, touched Rusk inappropriately, stalked Rusk, and tried to groom the younger officer into a lifestyle that Rusk did not want. The James City, Virginia Police Department is not commenting on this case. Sergeant Christopher Gibson is also not commenting. But lawyers for Michael Rusk say they believe everything would be drastically different if Rusk were a woman. In that scenario of a woman fearing rape by a man, the lawyers believe there would be no charges. There's also an element of a cover-up in all of this, or at least the withholding of information. According to the police report, when Sergeant Christopher Gibson spoke to investigating officers in the Williamsburg Police Department while being taken to the hospital, Gibson said he and Officer Rusk had merely gotten into an argument. And for weeks, while Michael Rusk was sitting in a jail, the police only told the public that Rusk, a police officer, had shot his supervisor during a dispute. This case is going to be an interesting one to watch. Here's another. In Connecticut, a politician drove drunk, flipped her car, and joked about changing the driving law while intoxicated. Doesn't make any sense, but we'll have to change yeah, that take a, a deep, <laughs> take a deep breath in. This is the same politician who went viral a year earlier for being drunk during a state house floor debate. Understand that she was able to um, Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.